What's up wizards? We're going to be looking at an amazing tool today to help you automate your life with TypeScript. It's called ScriptKit. It's an open source tool that lets you customize a command palette with TypeScript scripts that have superpowers. On my desktop, I can press command semicolon to bring up ScriptKit and I can type in all the scripts that I might want to use. Here, I've got a big list of custom scripts that I've written. For instance, I can run turn off lights and turn them back on with this. I can play a song in Spotify. I can select my latest output from OBS. I probably use that one maybe 10 times a day. I can even toggle my VS Code settings between presentation mode and my normal mode. Because ScriptKit is a command palette, it sits on top of all of my other apps, meaning I always have access to it. Let's take a look at what ScriptKit can do. If you type in a script that doesn't exist in ScriptKit, it will ask if you want to create a new one. When you accept that, it opens up VS Code with a whole new file. You can accept arguments to your scripts by awaiting an arg, and you can pass in the question that you want to ask here. You'll notice we can use top level await, which is really nice. Now, when you run my new script, it will ask you, what's your name? We can use the inspect function to inspect the result. Then it's going to open VS Code with the result that was in there. This is really, really useful for debugging. We can use this dollar sign to run arbitrary bash scripts. I can await the standard out and then inspect it. When we run that, we can inspect the result. With a bit more fiddling, we can create a script that gets our downloads ordered by created date, gets the first one, and then uses the Mac open command to reveal it in the file system. This script is called turn on lights. I have a config object with all of my Elgato lights here. Then for each light, I do a put request to the REST API that the light exposes with some data on how bright I want that light to be. I have a script called video mode, which closes a bunch of sensitive apps, turns on my lights, closes a bunch of Chrome tabs, makes sure that my headphones are plugged in, and then just checks that my mic is set up. I handle closing the apps by using this kill all script, and I close the Chrome tabs by using Apple script. This Apple script is a native global in script kit. Are you ready to see my coolest one? When I'm filming my course, I use this script a thousand times a day. This single script has saved me hours and hours of my time. It takes my latest video that I take from OBS and trims off the start and end silence. In other words, it does my course editing for me. It gets the latest video that I've recorded. All of this code is pretty messy, but what it's doing is choosing an automatic file name based on the VS Code file that I'm in. I then use FFmpeg on the input video to detect the silence and print it out where I do some mapping over it. After a bit of logic, which is purely TypeScript, I use the ensure directory helper to make sure that the output folder exists. I use FFmpeg again to clip the start of the video to the end of the video that I've calculated, and then I reveal the output video in Finder, which is another built-in. I then run FFmpeg one more time to create a small video with the first two seconds and the last two seconds of the output video. Then I open this in QuickTime. This means that I can check every video automatically to see if ScriptKit has done a good job or not. ScriptKit has so many built-in tools, it's not even funny. You can do web scraping, you can do cron jobs, it can watch files and file systems for you. I don't even know all of the cool stuff it can do, but having a custom command palette that you can edit in TypeScript is out of this world and it's totally changed the way I work. So thank you John Linquist, who is the founder of ScriptKit. You can check out more information on ScriptKit's website and I'll put links to the ScriptKit Discord below. Full disclosure, this isn't a sponsored video. John doesn't know I'm doing this. I just really like ScriptKit. If you enjoyed this video and you want to get the most out of TypeScript, then you should check out my course TotalTypeScript.com. It takes you from absolute beginner to magical wizard. I'll have another video here that you can check out and a channel that you can subscribe to here. And thank you so much for joining along. I'll see you very soon.